this young man. He's, he's been in this competition a couple of times and done really well. I think he made the final one year. He's getting better and better. He's 20 seats are off on long term. <laughs> He recently made it to the final 60 of the Andrew Lowe Band the Superstar. He is a lovely, lovely young man, and this is a fantastic song. Make some noise, everybody, for Gareth Rich!
Michael, where are your shoes, son? Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's amazing. It's wearing shoes. Shows that song. The, my one criticism of you, I, I'm a massive fan of you. You know I am. I've, I've told you many times. But the thing is, one, one criticism, I've always chosen rubbish songs. Tonight, you chose a great song that showed off your voice. If we've got a criticism, it would be that for the first three quarters of the song, you sang beautifully, but didn't move and didn't perform it. And then suddenly, you picked the mic up and came alive. And I thought that was when you, you really hit it. So, well, there's always an option with that, Martin. I know you, when you perform on stage, you can't just all about movement. It's about standing there and singing the song and telling the story. If you do too much movement in that kind of song, you've lost me. You want this exhibition of what your voice can do, whereas before, I think you've better chosen fairly safe songs. Really, really good performance, mate. Right up there, all the way. Absolutely. There we go. Woo! Uh, you can see it with your eyes closed, Gareth. I remember you from last year. That was a phenomenal vocal performance. I would agree. Obviously, you've been staged to stay behind the mic and then break out and everything. That's great. When you were behind the mic, that's fine. It was as if your hands were kind of velcro to your side. Uh, it doesn't mean to do too much. Right, you know what? I know a lot of people talk about this, Eric, but for yeah. me, I, I get confused with this because. And when I'm performing, and Gareth's performing, you yeah. do too much of your hands, I'm watching the hands, no. I'm not watching the voice. It's I'm not going to watch the voice. It's about the passion. passion. Yes, it's about and he showed the passion. I so it's they, they, they really happened. But I just, I just think it was a bit static. And I'll see you outside for a fight. Yeah. I think I'm not it. It was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it was a great performance, vocally, as it has been in previous years. And that was a great song. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, Rachel. I disagree with them completely. Yes! Yeah. Well done, Rachel. It was internal, it was subtle, but it was definitely there. I think that was a fantastic performance. And yeah, I mean, it was more obvious when you grabbed the mic or whatever, but it was definitely there from the start. Well done. Yeah, Kelly. Woo! Well, this is much more my uh, area of expertise, so it's much easier for me. Um, you certainly are a contender to go through to the final. Uh, For God's sake, I'm um, being honest. I really loved your performance. Um, it's a little bit too, I'm, I'm somewhere between everyone else on this, it's a little bit uh, too much um, relying on your vocal ability. And I think, and, and uh, we only say this to help you because I don't think that performance would win the final. It might win this heat, but I think when you need to step up your game, you're going to have to think about all the elements of what you look like, how you perform, what your face is doing, all these other things. But, you know, Gareth, I'm a big fan and that's wonderful. Well done. Absolutely. Woo! If you don't think about things like that, that's a matter. You know, when you think you've got an amazing voice, I think you sound amazing. Give a round of applause to Gareth.